It's the Obi and Anthony show. What do you guys got over okay, there? Ma- that you're, you're chuckling about. I uh, <laughs> I was uh, instructed to go to Amazon.com and look up Jimmy Norton's uh, HBO One Night Stand, which is available on DVD. Yes. Uh, and you know, when you go to Amazon, you can uh, read the reviews from people that have seen the DVDs. And uh, there are plenty of reviews written for Jimmy's DVD. <laughs> but uh, it seems, I don't know, they all have a common thread, common theme. Can I tell you this one that really made me laugh? <laughs> yeah. When I saw that man, I often see lurking outside my brother's middle, middle school, had his own comedy DVD. I just had to see it. I found his saucy language and wacky antics mildly amusing. <laughs> Damn shame about all the stuff I'm hearing about him being sick. Good luck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All they want to do is make each other laugh. Yeah, that's all they want to do. This is not, but it, but they're all four star and f- uh, five star reviews. Yes, they're good. Uh, this is l- this is R.I.P. Jimmy. This is Lil Jimmy Norton's farewell show. He died of AIDS the day before a relative's wedding, but he's in a better place up in the sky with a robe, some broth, a little dog, getting his mm massaged by Robert Reed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I first saw Jim Norton's HBO special with my friend Robert when I went to his house to walk his dog and water his plants. <laughs> he laughed so hard he spilled his broth and coughed blood on his robe. Robert would have absolutely recommended this if he were still alive. <laughs> Just asses. And then, if that isn't enough, great comedy. My son Lil Connor and I laughed for hours. It was a great show to watch before going out on the boat. <laughs> It's all our stupid pest listeners <laughs> throwing in their funny little comments. <laughs> Some of them you can't even read. They're just too bad. They're just too... <laughs> what? One of the best Down Syndrome comics there is on the scene. Jimmy Robinson's last DVD before retiring to collect butterfly wings is a true example of the talent and wit that Rich Voss doesn't have. Recorded in front of an all-white audience of trannies. <laughs> this will have your side splitting with indifference and leaves you wishing you two had taken a trip in a motorboat at an early age. <laughs> what a bunch of asses. <laughs> Oh, it's all AIDS and tranny references. Oh, they're awful. Oh, you gotta love the pests. They really make me laugh. It's the Obi and Anthony Show.